What's up, Realized Nation? Isaac here, checking in in the Realized car. And today I want to talk about self-fulfilling prophecies, which is something I think is very important, but not uh, very well understood by people. Now, back in the day, I used to sit exams and I would study for these exams, right? Put in the work. But whenever it was time to actually sit the exam, the final exam, I would always crack under pressure for whatever reason. I always crack and just get mind blanks. I forget about everything I studied. I would not manage my time properly and always end up getting shitty results. So my friends were always surprised because I was, was the one teaching them before the exam, but would get the worst marks during or after the exam. So I realized that the reason this kept happening the reason this pattern kept happening is because of the self-fulfilling prophecy. I started believing that I would mess up in the exam. And because I believed it, I kept thinking about it. It actually happened. On a subconscious level, I was actually programming myself to do that. You see, you hear a lot of books talk about the subconscious mind and its power. But what you have to realize is it actually is really important. The quality of your thoughts or what you think about often dictate what you're going to do dictate the results you're going to have it's like what james allen says here you are today where your thoughts have brought you you will be tomorrow where your thoughts take you your thoughts are so important and a lot of people don't understand that your thoughts your imagination and all these things they play a huge role in what success you actually have in the real world Obviously, you can't get success by just sitting around all day and just thinking about it. But if you think about it and you're doing the work, you're in a better position. They actually did an experiment. And this is going to contradict what I just said. They had this, uh, three, three basketball teams, right? Or three groups of people for this experiment. And they measured each group's shot from the three-point line. To see how each person went right so after they tracked the percentage um fucking balls went into the hoop for each group they told one group to go home and forget about basketball don't, don't even worry about it they told another group to practice to practice often to practice the three-point shot like every day and they told another group to not practice, but to envision it. To envision what it would be like to make the shot exactly what they would do as if they're doing it, but just in their mind every day. So they brought all these groups together. And what happened was that the group that didn't practice actually got worse, a lot of them. The group that practiced got 25% better. And the group that just sat around imagining it apparently increased by 23%. So your thoughts actually have the capacity to change your direction in life. Obviously, um, this experiment involved amateurs. Obviously, you're not going to become LeBron James just in pretending or envisioning to be LeBron James. But a lot of your results are determined by what thoughts you entertain and which ideas go through your mind regularly. So in order to combat this bad pattern I have, I had of you know messing up during the exam period I started changing my thoughts I started thinking of myself kicking ass during the exam I started thinking of myself getting high distinctions thinking of myself doing incredibly well and then something amazing happened when I sat these exams I no longer had that self-fulfilling prophecy I no longer had that tendency to mess myself up to get in my own way just think about it. sometimes when you try to remember something Let's say you often forget your phone number and then you go up to someone who's about to ask you for your phone number and you're like, oh crap, I'm going to forget my phone number. What happens is you forget your phone number or sometimes there's a pin you know, a pin you know very well, but for some reason you think to yourself, oh, I'm going to forget it this time and you end up forgetting it. That's a self-fulfilling prophecy. The thought is sending a message to your subconscious mind and your subconscious mind is doing what it does. And that's receiving the message that it gets often 
and just I'm going to autopilot, taking action, making it happen. So you have to be really careful with what you're thinking about. So check your thoughts. Remember, as a man thinketh, so is he. Fuck, that's not the quote. But yeah, you get it. Check your thoughts. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys liked that video. If you did, like, comment, subscribe, and all that good shit. Peace. I'm going to show you how to be part of the notification gang. It's real simple. Click subscribe, and then you click on this little bell here. Boom, bam, boom. That's it. And you get notifications as soon as the videos are up. Peace. Do it! Just do it!